Hey everybody, Matt here, aka Mr. Short Game. Thanks for stopping by. Today I have a cool product, the Nikon Cool Shot ADI VR Rangefinder. Let's check it out. Okay, so this is Nikon's CoolShot ADI VR rangefinder, and it is the world's first rangefinder with vibration reduction technology. Basically, it's optical image stabilization. So when you're shaking around, it just smooths that out. It's, it has a little motor inside, like a gimbal, that keeps the image steady. So what I did was I went to the golf course and I wanted to compare this with a couple other models. I also have the VPro DLX, which I like, and my old Leopold GX1i. So I went out to the course and I just kind of settled in a spot that allowed me to shoot at three different flags. One about 100 yards, one about 180, and then one way out in the distance, like over 450 yards away. And I wanted to see if I could truly capture those flags really just one-handed and pick up that flag stick. So with the Leopold, okay, this is my older model. This one has had a history for me of uh, not being able to pick up a flag stick very well. And when I checked it at 98 yards or 100 yards, it, it did pick up the flag. The second distance, it's had a little bit of a challenge, but I finally got it and no chance at 450 yards. It was mostly picking up trees and background. Uh, the VPro DLX new model, which I liked, is a very inexpensive model. So something that I, I like to use because I, you know, I could just throw it around. It's not, it's not that big a deal. And it picked up also the closed flag, the medium flag, it, it, it locked onto fairly well. And the far flag, it, it, it took a while, but it finally got it. So uh, not too bad. Now the cool shot, it, it did pick up all three. I mean, and I'll show you some video. It's hard to get the 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 lens right up to your camera and, and sync it up perfect, but you can see the difference between the other models and the cool shot. You can definitely tell how steady this is. And when you're using this, when you click it on, you can hear the motor just start. It's really quiet, but you could hear it. And you could see the difference if you don't if you don't hit the top button and you just look through it, you could see its typical shakiness. And once you activate the stabilizer, you hear it and it just all of a sudden just smooths out real quick. And it's real simple, you just use it with one hand. So if you're somebody who has a difficult time moving around, it definitely smooths out the image for you. It also has first target priority. Most of the newer models have that, so I'm not too too worried about it. What really intrigued me about the cool shot really was its image stabilization feature, and it does really do a big, big difference. I, I was pretty amazed at how they even were able to get that in such a small unit, so I really like that. Another feature I love about this is it does have the slope technology, and that slope technology is not a, a piece that I have to take off and put on because I wasn't a fan of that, because I, I know I would, and I, I've known people who have lost one of the two pieces, and so they were just stuck with whatever mode it was currently in. So all of that is internal, and you just flip it on, flip it off, and it works. So if you're, if you're playing just around with your buddies, you could have it on, or if you're playing in a tournament, you could shut it off, and it would be compliant to the rules of golf. However, because it's internal, you don't know if somebody else is using it on or off. So you really have to just trust that your fellow competitors are you know, following the rules of golf and not using something that they're not allowed to use in competition. But either way, just make sure you know it's internal and that it's up to you to turn it on and or turn it off. I love the internal displays and the eyepiece and it does tell you if it's sloping down and it's sloping up, there's a little diagram, and you can adjust where you see the pictures of where you want your actual yardage versus your adjusted yardage to be, whether they're on the top or the bottom. 
you could play around with that yards and meters it has that the downside and what i don't like about this is uh i'll show you uh here's the case this is really the only i'm getting nitpicky here but i do have to say this is a cheap case and it doesn't come with a battery pouch so now i have to get a battery put it in my golf bag and hope i don't lose it i really like to have it in the pouch because i know i just checked my pouch it's on my bag i'm good to go and i would imagine i haven't tested this but my guess would be that the battery would wear out a lot quicker than with other devices because of the motor for the image stabilization so i always carry a second battery with my other range finders um, there's just nowhere to put it in this pouch so nikon i would say just hey give me a nicer pouch if i pay 450 for this i would expect a, a nicer case so anyways like i said i'm being nitpicky but again if i'm paying that much money i think nitpicky is okay all in all i love the feel it has a rubber hard case, waterproof. Uh, I love the design, very easy to use. It's very well constructed and it's not very heavy compared to other range finders. I love the product. I think Nikon did a great job with the CoolShot ADI VR. I will leave links below. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you liked the review. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and we'll see you in the next video.